All right, thought I'd make a quick video here because uh, YouTube was very helpful in my designing of this welding table and thought I'd summarize a few things that I found and measurements I ended up using, uh, where I got some parts, etc. and maybe it will help um, others. So I just picked up a Hobart uh, 210 welder oh, about a month ago, just got into welding, so did some practicing. And first project is this table build. So. If you're like me, you might have gone back and forth between do you have an actual table that you can slide your legs under and sit at or do you want to frame it in and have some storage, etc. So after uh, going back and forth quite a bit, I landed on kind of a hybrid concept. And what I ended up being able to do, this table is exactly 37 inches and I have a half inch plate top. So it'll be 37 and a half inches high. And the idea is that on the, the right hand side, you can sit at it with a stool as that cross bar there is only about eight, eight inches off the ground and actually slide your legs under on the right if you'd like and on the left you got plenty of storage. So um, what I really liked is I found this Craftsman uh, ball bearing, um, I guess toolbox. It's 28 inches tall without wheels obviously and I picked it up brand new for $200 at an outlet center and they that's a pretty common price if you go to Sears outlet and look at their five drawer box. So I figured I couldn't even build drawers or anything um, for that price. So everything started around that. I wanted the table to really just come right across the top of the box nice and flush and be able to lock the drawers down if I'd like. So I'm going to share with you a few measurements and that way if you like this idea, it will save you quite a bit of time. So I ended up I'm going with a six foot by three foot plate that's over there on the trailer. I get to slide that on top of this here in a minute, but thought I would shoot the video um, so you could see it a little bit better without the top on. So the horizontal pieces here are 60 inches, you know, five feet on the dot. Um, so four of those guys. The legs that are obviously in the corner here are 31 inches um, worth of pipe. That's an eighth inch plate that I made on the bottom to uh, mount to the caster. And that's a four by two caster um, so overall that gives you that table height of right at 37 inches. Now these guys are 24 and 3 quarters. The reason I did that is because I had uh, this expanded metal that was already 2 foot wide. They sell it like that in the store here. 2 foot wide, 3 foot long. So I just had to trim uh, one end because it's slightly less than 3 feet. And then when I put the 2 inch angle iron around the inside to frame it in, um, that's obviously one eighth uh, wide, as is all this tube, and it's all eighth inch, 11 gauge uh, wall. So that just allowed that to sit in really nicely. If I would have made, you know, these cross pieces exactly 24 inches, by the time I put that eighth inch uh, angle iron in there, the expanded metal would not have fit, and I would have to cut it again. So that's essentially, you know, the measurements of the overall frame. And the other piece that I really liked is by just putting in some angle here in front of the box. It, it gave me that perfect height to where it just bisets uh, right, you know, right flush with the top. I don't have a gap and I'm still able to use this key. All right, moving around the back. <clears throat> Got a little bit of space here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. I might build some shelves in there um, to put a bench grinder, some other things on. Now on the side here, this is just two inch, um, eighth, eighth, eighth gauge. Sheet metal, obviously just cut 24 and 3 quarters, holds all the clamps on that side. Exact same thing on this side for the grinders. And it seems to work really well. So I'll put a couple links to where I got the casters. They hold, I think they're rated for 800 pounds a piece, maybe 700 pounds a piece. I got them on Amazon, I believe, and they were like 50 bucks for all four, $55. I hope I'm not lying. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but seem to be a pretty good deal and they work phenomenal. They, e they each have a lock on them and that's just with one on, but it's, it's pretty darn sturdy. So all in all, the tables worked out really well. Um, I've got about $150 in steel on the frame ex with the expanded metal and the angle iron and everything, so not too bad. Like I said, I think 50, 60 bucks for the casters, even though they're heavy duty, I got a good deal on them. And then I just went down to uh, my local steel yard and they had some scrap steel laying out. So I was able to get a, this half inch plate over here in pretty darn good shape. It's just a tiny bit of surface rust here and there, but nothing major. 
and I got that for like $130. So not a whole lot of money um, in this project and it's great to replace this very worn out kind of craftsman bench that I've had for a long time. So looking forward to getting rid of that and utilizing this guy. So hopefully that, that helps you with a few of those measurements and if you've been thinking about you know, the debate between having a table or you know, having some shelves built in, uh, this Craftsman box, just go to Sears uh, online kind of outlet and you should find it. It was like $179.99, so with tax it was you know, under $200. Not a bad deal. All right, hope that helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and uh, I'll try to put a couple links up as well.